Warning, the content you are about to receive is for the sole purpose of exposing fake trainers, doctors, nutritionists, life coaches, and wellness gurus, in addition to educate them and provide you with accurate information. You know, as I'm thinking back, after giving up on a childhood dream when I was at the age of 27, I was at a major crossroads because I wanted to be a professional athlete. And here I am all of a sudden with this. I was frustrated. I, my personal life was really kind of in a mess. Professionally, I had no idea which way I was going to go. So here I was. What you're about to hear from me from this point on is, is a confession of a world-class bodybuilder and a personal trainer. My, one of my buddies that came by after I'd been out of uh, sports for a couple of years, and again, at this age of 27, he asked me, what, what the hell happened to you? You're out of shape. You're, I've never seen you like this. I mean, that was a big wake-up call for me because, in fact, I was, I was in the worst shape of my life. I had never been, uh, because of being an athlete, I was always in shape, and here I was. I was married with two kids. I mean, it's pretty common, you know, where I was at uh, at this age, but uh, this, this left me in a, in a bad state of mind, and I knew I had to do something. So at my, at my buddy's uh, recommendation, he said, why don't you start weightlifting? And I did, but it was, very, it was really a, a, a departure from from uh, what I've ever done, I, you know, even as an athlete, because of the sports I played back in the 70s and uh, the position that I played, it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't something that was common for me to be in the gym. So weightlifting was a very new thing. So this is when I got introduced to uh, muscle and fitness. I went out and bought a muscle and fitness magazine and I started reading and looking to see what the heck these guys were doing as far as weight training. I mean, I had a basic concept, but I wanted to learn more at that point. So I started training in my, in my garage and feeling my way through. And after about six months, I noticed that uh, I was already starting to, to feel a certain way better, I was starting to look better. This is kind of cool, you know? And I outgrew my, my gym at home. So what I ended up doing is making a, a decision to go to the, uh, the health club down the street, about a mile away. Got into that weight room and at about, there was an instructor there who is my, my, happens to be my business partner now. He recommended that I compete in a bodybuilding competition, which uh, I thought, oh my goodness. I mean, in, in school, I dropped, in college, I dropped any kind of class where I had to do an oral presentation. So the thought of me being on the stage and a pair of uh, posing trunks, I have to tell you, it was a horror show. I mean, I, in my head, it was, but at the same time, it was something that I did. And from that day forward, my life had changed and it's never been the same since in a really good way. I started um, really getting into to the training at this point because obviously when you're a bodybuilder, you have to know everything at the end of the day about the things that are responsible for changing your body. In this case, it was uh, the training part of it, the aspect. It was nutrition, cardio. I, you know, I knew that I had to know about all those things to the nth degree. So that was my mission. My mission was at that point then to get myself in the best shape of my life because I was hooked now. I wanted to compete again because I never had felt, thought, felt that way, that juiced up as I was like I was when I was playing ball. That gave me juice. Working at the job that I was, I was at after that was just, just going to work. It was just a job. So after that show, I was juiced up and not in a, with steroids, it's in a natural way. I was juiced up, my life was, it meant something again. I was like, alive. So I started learning everything that I could and I continued to compete. 
as I'm going through this process after a couple, three years, then it occurred to me that I knew what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I wanted to be a personal trainer. Now, at that point and at that time in the town that I lived in, there was no one doing this. I mean, in the bigger cities, yeah, but not around where I was. So it's just all new territory. So I was just learning as I went. But I had this drive, and, and as it turned out, you know, from learning everything about my body and how all these components were responsible for, for changing the body in a certain way, and I was getting to the point where I could actually do it kind of at will, then I knew that I wanted to take that very same information to be a personal trainer. I wanted to be able to work with my clientele and I wanted them to know that I knew before they even would experience what I told them that I knew what I was talking about. So my goal was not only to get myself in the best shape of my life as a competitive bodybuilder, but it was to get every one of my clients in the best shapes of their lives. So now I'm at a spot 36 years later where I'm at another crossroads again. Because as Albert Einstein once said, and I think he was so right about this, the real source of knowledge is through experience. And I can tell you now, I, I competed at a world level. Um, I've trained thousands of clientele, pro athletes. I can tell you that the real source of knowledge is experience. So here's my crossroad now. And I have to tell you that I'm really, I'm really angry about this. You know, 36 years ago, I was desperate. Now I'm angry. And it's actually, I'm more than angry. I'm pissed off as hell because I'm seeing this information that's out on the market with trainers, life coaches. And it is amazing to me. It's shocking to me, the information, the misinformation that's out there. And it's to the point that the information that people, consumer, an unsuspected consumer is reading, it's dangerous. I can tell by the way that the article is written and the information that they are giving is that they do not know what they're talking about. It's unthoughtful, but it's mainly because of their inexperience. So I'm here now at this next crossroad is to tell and set the story straight. I was known for that in the bodybuilding courses that I wrote and I'm doing it now. You can just consider me a watchdog. I'm calling everybody out in the industry and I'm open for debate. So what you're about to see in the upcoming series is a tell-all story from my point of view.